Hi guys. Today's movie is so intense movie. That have sweet revenge. Please like and subscribe. An elderly woman, Evelyn Mercer, is murdered at a convenience store in Highland Park, Michigan when a robbery occurs that results in the death of the store clerk, and Evelyn was left as the one and only witness. The incident brings her four adoptive sons back home to Detroit, Michigan to find out what happened. The oldest is a lifelong criminal, hot-tempered Bobby, the second oldest is family man and union construction worker Jeremiah, the third oldest is an ex-hustler and former U.S. Marine, Angel, and the youngest is aspiring rock musician Jack. Later, they all sit down to eat together. Bobby leads them in saying grace and they silently start to serve themselves and eat, all aware of the empty seat at the head of the table. Jeremiah imagines seeing Evelyn there and she reprimands him for eating with his mouth open. Jack, visibly having the hardest time dealing with Evelyn's absence, imagines her assuring him that, despite all the bad things that happened to him, he is safe now. They go out and enjoy the cold night air and festivities before heading to a bar, drinking in memory of Evelyn. Jack becomes drunk but the others are clear-headed enough to further discuss Evelyn's murder. They agree that the police won't get far, though Jeremiah asserts that they should leave the investigation to them. The bartender, Conrad Bergschneider, comes over and gives his condolences before informing the brothers that he heard the shooting was gang-related. Originally under the impression the crime was a simple robbery gone wrong, the brothers chase down and interrogate a false witness to the police, after which the brothers discover that the robbery was a cover for a hit put out on Evelyn. The brothers track down the pair of hired guns who shot and killed Evelyn, and after refusing to give up any information, the two hitmen are executed by the enraged Bobby and Angel. Meanwhile, at a fancy restaurant downtown, a gang is eating dinner together. Their leader, Victor Sweet, Chuatel Ejiofor, walks in, clearly irritated. He angrily exclaims that he had asked for out-of-town shooters, not the in-town shooters who are now dead. There would not have been any problems, no investigations, no heat on his back, if the shooters had been from out of town. The next day, Detroit Police Lieutenant Green and Detective Fowler confront the brothers about the murders. While the brothers deny involvement, Lieutenant Green warns them that their interference with Evelyn's case is ill-advised and that it will put them in over their heads. Later, Bobby takes Jack with him to have a closer look at Damien's apartment, leaving Angel with a very irritated Sophie. However, when she orders him in the other room, he finds her sitting on top of the washing machine, set to spin. As they get intimate, they are interrupted by a knock at the door. Angel answers it to see an insurance agent, Greg Elwind, who is delivering news regarding a claim that Jeremiah is to collect. Angel forces Sofi out on the porch while he speaks to the man who reveals that Jeremiah is actually bankrupt and is receiving $400,000 from Evelyn's death. After confronting Jeremiah about the revelation of his failing business and benefiting from Evelyn's life insurance, Jeremiah informs his brothers that his construction company was failing precisely because he was not getting involved with gang lord Victor Sweet and that for a project to succeed he had to pay off the right people, which he initially failed to do. In his effort to restore his business and relieve pressure on himself, he tried to pay off Sweet's henchmen. Sweet's men attack the brothers, Jack is shot during the attack and subsequent gunfight, and dies shortly after. Bobby and Angel manage to fend off and kill the gunman. Bobby finds one of the gunmen still alive and questions him about who sent them, confirming it was Sweet. Lieutenant Green arrives and informs them that Evelyn filed a police report regarding Victor Sweet and his involvement in Jeremiah's affairs, and his partner, Detective Fowler passed that report on to Sweet. Green warns them to stay out of the matter and let him handle Fowler, and then they will work together on Sweet. Later at a bar, Green asks Fowler about Fowler seeing Evelyn a week before she was killed and asks him, why didn't you tell me that? Don't you think that that's relevant to a murder investigation? After they walk out of the bar, Fowler shoots and kills Green and calls into dispatch claiming two black assailants had fired upon Green. The remaining brothers devise a plan to buy Victor Sweet off with the $400,000 from their mother's life insurance. 
Arriving at Fowler's, Angel subdues him. Jeremiah goes to meet Sweet while Angel's girlfriend, Sophie, heads to the police station, where she tells them that Angel is planning to kill a police officer. Hearing the sirens in the distance, Fowler believes they are coming for Angel, until Angel opens his jacket revealing a wire. Angel claims the whole conversation was taped, including Fowler's admission that he killed Green. The police arrive at Fowler's in full force, at which point Fowler gets the upper hand on Angel. With his gun pointed at Angel's head, Fowler tells the officers outside to back off, and despite telling him they are there to rescue him, Fowler opens fire on the officers, who kill him. Meanwhile, at Frozen Over Lake St. Clair, Jeremiah meets with Sweet, who reveals that he intends to kill him. Then Jeremiah reveals that the $400,000 is to pay off Sweet's henchmen, who are already embittered towards him because of his blatant mistreatment of them, in exchange for killing Sweet. Sweet angrily demands to know who will be the one to kill him, just as Bobby shows up. Bobby and Sweet brawl, during which Bobby uses his hockey playing skills to get the upper hand, knocking Sweet unconscious. His former henchmen seal his fate, dropping him into a hole carved in the ice. The three brothers, taken into police custody, are beaten in an attempt to make them confess to the murder of Sweet but give up nothing. Back home, they set about repairing their mother's house and continuing their lives together. The end. Please subscribe for more movies.